So my under 10 teams plays 7v7, and one of the formations we're going to be using is a 2-3-1. So I just want to talk about a few things with the 2-3-1. So first off, defensively, we are going to want to be compact. So the best way we could be defensively is in this position here. So this way, we have the center of the field cut off from the attackers. If the ball is shifted over, we are going to shift into the spaces over like this. And that way, we can try to force the ball down the line and keep them away from the center of the field. Our priority is going to be preventing them from getting high-quality opportunities in and around the penalty box. If they want to go out to the flanks, we will let them take the lower percentage in going for crosses. Offensively, we want to get more open and spread out. So if our number two here has the ball, what we're going to have he here is number two is going to try to take a more central position. Our forward is going to get as high up the pitch as possible. Our number nine is going to get high up with our forward. Our other defender is going to come out to the flank and they're going to enter into the midfield. Now, this is where things are a little bit interesting. Our other midfielder, we want to make sure that they do not get in the way of these through passes to our attacking players. So they will stay and try to shift into spaces here without blocking off the through pass into a striker. Other things we want to work on is, hello Zizu, how are you? Are this. In this formation, we have to be able to get our wingers up and down the field because our wingers offensively will shift up and make it a three forward attacking unit, just as this, especially if our central midfielder can get on the ball here. However, defensively, they have to be able to get all the way back and they essentially become wing backs to help in defense. The central midfielder will become almost like a holding midfielder here. The only player that we're really going to keep up top will be this forward here. And the reason for that is, is if we do lose possession of the ball, let's say number three wins the ball here, we want some long direct outlet out of the back. And this is our best plan of action after winning the ball. If we can get the ball all the way to our forward, that is our best option. Then our outside wing midfielder can come here. Our central midfielder can support here for a drop. Our other outside midfielder can support in here. And our defense will just push up in a little bit of support. And potentially we can play the drop back here. Maybe we spread it out wide to five. And five is now in a good crossing scenario, so they can cross the ball in to our players here. We can potentially score a goal. All right, so we need to work on this more, but that will have to wait for another video.